Um, quickly, there is need for me to come to media this morning to clarify certain confusion said to be going on outside there as a result of the message I sent last night. Actually, I'm surprised. Honestly, I'm surprised. I don't see any reason why anyone should be confused about that simple message. Um, the people I may not be blamed are those people that doesn't know the antecedent for that uh, apology. And uh, actually, we are in grand community where there are a lot of manipulators that can interpret any message to their greedy desire. I think for that, I need to make clarification so that the message can be straightened forward for any of these people calling for clarification. Um, before I move on, for those of you that are not conversant with my voice, my name is Comrade Abdul, the executive president of All Grand Pleasure Group of Nigeria, aka the German machine of All Grand Pleasure Group of Nigeria. I really want to appreciate every one of you that has been patient and uh, stand fast in supporting us, moving on with everything that we are doing in Grand Community. I want to appreciate every one of you. And as well, I also want to appreciate those of you that are fighting hard to create confusion in the system. And as we said, we, all Grand Pleasure Group of Nigeria, we are the pioneer, the originator of the new trend. And we are not going to relax to allow mischievous elements, greedy individuals to hijack this that we have labored for from the uh, infant stage. We are not going to allow anybody to hijack it to their greedy and selfish interest. So we will be live at every point in time to defend this project. For the sake of that uh, very simple message I want to pass, I want to explain some certain things that happened in the meeting we held. Because the very reason why I made that right up there, of course I was the one that made it. Because some people were calling, if actually I'm to confirm if actually I was the one that made that right up. I made it. There are reasons for that for me to make that right up. The fact here is that grant community is a place where we come to get grant, nothing else. There is a particular chapter or part of our meeting that was misinterpreted, that was misinterpreted by our chief editor. My, my, my attention was called to that very part of that uh, minute of the meeting by the prof wife, mommy, Busede. She called me to clarify if actually something like that happened in the meeting. Of which, having um, gone back to that minute, I read it, I saw that there is serious misinterpretation of what we said in the meeting. What we said in the meeting, I think somebody called, um, gave us a question of the issue of reconciliation that is being spread about. Then that was what brought out that very part of the meeting. Yes, issue of reconciliation that was uh, being campaigned about, which our mommy was linked to that. In my response, I have to explain that brought about that very chapter of the meeting. Of course, it is obvious that mommy is asking for reconciliation. Of course, I have discussed with her, somebody like that is, is someone that at any point in time, if you are addressing issue related to them, we have to be very skeptical. This is somebody I don't want to have issue in any way with. Is somebody that we have worked together and I have so much respect for her, the way I said it in the meeting. And I explained that, yes, she told me, she told me in particular that she wants reconciliation. Even when I put it to her, is it true that you are working with some parties or some group of people? She said no, that all her interest for this grant is disbursement. She knew that her husband 
labored for this project and all she wants is the success of the project which is disbursement so that Nigerian masses can benefit and have their peace which I as well stand by her and to some extent we have worked together we have worked together so and we don't have any issue we don't have I don't have issue with her and I don't think she has issue with me although there are some greedy manipulators that are surrounding her or going to her to manipulate lies fabricate lies against me in person i don't have problem with that because my own take is that at any time my attention is called being morning afternoon night i will go and defend myself my attention has not been called what we are hearing is backyard issues let us come back to the issue of consign the issue of reconciliation our position in the meeting which was misinterpreted was that the issue of reconciliation will be somehow difficult yes this is how we put it the issues of reconciliation will be somehow difficult as a matter of fact one of the stakeholders calling or pleading begging for reconciliation or lobbying for reconciliation now has done a mischievous act in the past that cannot be easily left over or be forgiven this is somebody that you know your position you know your capacity and you know that you are looking for reconciliation what is the need of fabricating and manipulating um case to detain the people involved we all grand pleasure group include the management of uaag as well the family of uh, our late mama beatrice Mbaudidu, was detained even for a day that cannot be easily forgiven on for what reason Casey issue stories was manipulated and fabricated and they use it to detain us and the management of UAG, including the country director, Apostle to Ken Wakama, that day this man said something that melted my heart. That since he was born, he has never slept in police station. But however, for this that happened today, he is taking it as a supreme sacrifice for this project. That really melted my heart. Look at Jennifer Isaac was there, was part of.